You know you have a great card when there's only two people on the planet that own it. Myself and the guy who invented it. Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and uh, today we're going to be looking at the Ava Media CE310B. Sounds awesome. So what is the CE310B? Well, it's a capture card that is connected directly to the motherboard. It gives better results than standard USB counterparts. So what can this device do? Well, it captures composite video and it can also do st uh, S video. I was about to say still shots. S video. Uh, that's all it does. It, it's a standard definition capture device. So for gaming, it would be old school games. But I'm not here for games. I'm here for your home videos. For my little experiments, I purchased a Dell Optiplex 7010. I wanted to put this card and also a Firewire card into the one PC. And I'm just going to use it as a uh, test device for all these VHS capture products. With the card, I decided to just use it on the, the last slot available on the motherboard. Uh, the graphics card that I was had sitting in there is uh, a GTX 750. It's just it's a piece of crap, and it's blocking these other slots that I wanted to use. So I had to put the Ava Media card on the very bottom. Um, yeah, it's very easy. It's very simple to slot in. Um, there was no problems, especially with a uh, a Dell computer like this. Uh, going from the video out, so the composite out from the DVD, VCR, that's a combo drive, and straight into the Ava Media CE310B. I love saying that. I'm joking, of course. Driver download is quite easy. Uh, just got to find which computer operating system you're running. Uh, there's also a red bar at the top right hand corner which allows you to download the SDK which means that that's going to work with other video editors but it also comes with its own software which is very similar to ooh, what could I call it Windows Movie Maker but that being said I mean this this actually allows you to record an mp4 AVI uh, DVD TS file and MPEG um, so it is pretty good in regards to that. Uh, the maximum kilobytes per second is 80,000. That's really overkill, but you know, apparently you can do it. I guess the type of people that would be buying this is if you have lots of VHS cassettes or VHSC cassettes. And uh, that would give you a much better result. So let's listen to a quick sample. So I got mine from AliExpress and took almost a month to arrive. I have seen that you can get it on Amazon, uh, but you know whether it still takes a month, I couldn't tell you. Would I recommend this? Absolutely. I think it's a great device. It's it's permanently in my Dell. Um, so whether you would need it, if you've got a lot of cassettes, and I mean like what, 10, 20 cassettes, um, the device itself costs... I think about $140 is what I got it for. So it might be cheaper, it might be might be more by the time you watch this video. Anyway, thanks for watching and if you liked what you saw, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. There'll be more videos coming quite soon.